hey guys how we doing and welcome to my channel today i'm coming to you with my design team post over at misscasecuttables.blogspot.com so definitely come and join us also don't forget to go grab your freebie of the day each and every day miss kate cuttables releases a freebie every single day and it is free for you guys to have so don't forget to grab your freebies because they are phenomenal and as you know Today I am using one file for Mrs. Kate's Cuttables and it is called the camera. So what I ended up doing was using this DCWV pad and paper to create my card. And I end up creating a camera shaped card. Okay, so let's get started guys. My card is five and a half by five and a half and here goes it. Now if you see the camera on the on the file the camera is facing this way but I flipped it for it to be this way okay guys so here goes my card and I already did the inside of my card the inside says don't forget to smile capture moment a moment in time and you're gonna see why that says that so let's get started with the front of the card which is gonna be simple and easy It's just layering everything together so I already did two layers together and here go all my pieces and it's really simple and quick and easy guys so let's put this together okay so i have this blue and this blue one right here i love this color blue it looks so awesome so i'm just gonna add this and line it up to my card because everything lines up, leaving a border on all sides. And I think, yes, it does go this way. Okay, just making sure. Sometimes it's pretty awesome if you just like dry fit everything. Okay. Then we have the white layer. So I hope everyone's doing really good. Okay. So now I'm just going to add my white layer. And it just lines up with the blue layer. Just like that. Then I have the pattern paper that I end up cutting from that paper stack and I'm going to line it up with the white. Okay, and then what I want to do, I want to use some wet glue to kind of go the, on the edge of the top. Then I'm going to line that up with the white. And what I ended up doing was I wanted to bring a little bit of, uh, uh, of course, some glitter. But before I put anything else on, I'm going to end up putting this down on the base of my card. Now, guys, you can make this card as big as you want. It's content to your heart's desire as long as you know that your cutting mat only cuts 12 inches wide but it cuts up to 24 inches okay and then i'm going to do the same over here adding some wet glue okay and i'm going to open up my card and then this is going to be a little shadow also on this card and it's going to look just like that so there goes all the pieces now I cut out my star and this star I'm going to put right there Okay. 
Okay, and that's gonna look good right there. Maybe add a little bit more glue. I don't think it got any. Okay, there we go. So that's what that is. Now we're going to end up putting the inserts. Now, what I ended up doing to get these pieces was I hide contoured the outside of the shape. So, oops, I need to put my piece down first. I'm going to put this down and insert it right there like a jigsaw puzzle. So let me get some wet glue. So I've got to add this down. Before I add in my star. Okay. And it's going to look just like that. Then I could put my star back down. But I just need to add some more glue. And I might need my pen. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some more glue, and then we're going to plop this baby right down, and I don't go that way, it goes this way, and not that way either, there we go, okay, so that's what that looks like right there. And for some reason, hold on a second. Let me make sure how this goes. Okay. Just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to add this piece on the other side. And I'm just going to insert it right in the middle. Just like that. And you see how it gives it like a glitter effect. So all you're doing is actually taking the piece and inserting it right in where your thing is at. And then I have the emblem that goes around in the middle. And that looks good right there. And then I did the same with the white. And I just got to position it which way it goes in. And that's the way it goes. Let me dry fit it again. Because I lost my position. And yep, that looks good right there. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And I'm going to bring that baby right in. There you go. Then what I ended up doing for these parts right here was. I used my... We are memory keepers embossing folder and I use the smaller dots and as you can see it kind of gave it this glitter paper a uh, cool effect to it. I like how it came out. So now I'm just going to put some glue on the back of these pieces and then add them down lining everything up just like that. Okay, and this one goes on the bottom. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And now, I end up using this stamp set from... My creative time with Emma, where you're brilliant, and I used the, just the my. So I end up cutting out my. So I'm just going to glue this right down here to the edge portion of the card base, lining up with the piece. And then I use, I got this at the Stamp Fest of 2017, and this is the die. And it just says it's a love die. And it has the shadow and the letters. And I just love how this cuts out. And with this glitter paper right here. Oh my god, it's so cute. 
So then I'm just going to add some glue to the back of this. And then I'm just going to lay this down. And that's going to be my card for my creative for Mrs. Kate's Cuttables. That blogspot.com, my design team post. And I might want to add some more glue over here. Okay. And I think that looks straight. And then I'm just going to add this right down here. Just like that. So then... Okay, so my card says, my love, and when you open it up, it says, don't forget to smile, capture a moment in time. And I just love how this card came out, the colors and everything. That is so awesome. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, definitely thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to go grab your freebie of the day. And until next time, guys, you have a blessed day. Bye now.